So it's a little bit windy out today. We came out to test these HDLRC hammer long range antennas at this park today. It's a little breezy, so we're under this tree in this little kind of tree cave here. It's pretty cool. We're gonna fly from here, stay out of the wind, and it's gonna help us kind of test the penetration of these antennas. These antennas are great. If you haven't seen them, they're like six inches long. Tim's got one right here. So this is the HDLRC hammer, long range antenna. You can see it's nice and long, so it keeps the bell above your battery so that no matter what direction you're facing, you're gonna have clearance on your antenna. Your battery is not gonna block it. Uh, I really like them so far, they're awesome. They're nice and flexible. You can bend them to whatever orientation you want. They're really strong. And uh, we're gonna see how they do uh, pairing them on a diversity module. So let's go. All right, so Tim's gonna check out the HDLRC hammer antenna also. What do you think about the antenna so far? It's really sturdy. I like how uh, when you bend it, it'll stay where you want it. Um, I like how the end is smaller, so whenever you're flying through brush or trees or something, it won't grab a hold as much as some other ones. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And what are you putting on it? You have a mad mushroom on your receiver there? I got a mad mushroom and it's an old school LaForge setup. So, so we're gonna keep, his patch is gonna be facing the other way. We'll see how he does flying over that way. So he'll just be on the mad mushroom. That thing. It's nice and sleek. The design's nice and sleek. You're right, it doesn't catch on stuff a lot. So I'm pretty impressed with this antenna. I'm getting just, I'm getting that consistent kind of crackling as you get deeper and deeper, but not that, oh shit, and when you turn and all of a sudden you have a complete loss, that inconsistency from the battery blocking your antenna as you're off in the woods and you know, not paying attention to which way you're turning. So having the antenna bell always above the battery and just always in line of sight it just gives you way better video the whole time. You can see flying around here, I had no issues. It's pretty awesome just on the bell, no patch. So I'm impressed with the antenna. I can't wait to try it out with my long range wing that's coming soon on a quad. Did awesome as far as penetration. We'll check out long range with it coming up here soon too. Stay tuned for that. So the HDLRC hammer had some awesome penetrating capabilities and it, it kept a nice clear line of sight signal to the goggles, which was nice. Even going through all that brush over there. So I'm really impressed with it. I like having the longer antenna. It's just a solid antenna, you know, it keeps it up above the battery, which is just really nice. 
it gives you good clearance. So if you're looking for a long range antenna for your quad, this one's the one you want to use. We're going to try it out on a wing next and test some really long range stuff. So we'll see how it does there. But for quads, at least short mid range going through brush, it worked pretty well. So check it out. HGLRC hammer.